This video is brought to you by Fantasy Island. Own it on digital now, on Blu-ray and DVD, May 12th. Plot twist! Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 20 movie reveals no one saw coming. Do not be frightened. It is only farce. For this list, we're discussing the most unexpected reveals from film that left viewers speechless, and we'll be including both plot twists and identity reveals. Considering the nature of this list, it probably goes without saying, but a major spoiler alert is in order. 18 months ago, you did something remarkable. Something not even my superior has done. Number 20. The Invisible Man Becomes Visible. The Invisible Man. I found something that can prove what I'm experiencing. That can prove that Adrian is stalking me. The most recent entry on this list is the 2020 film adaptation of The Invisible Man, based on the 1897 H.G. Wells novel of the same name. Starring Elizabeth Moss as Cecilia, the title of the film is pretty explanatory of the premise. A scientist concocts a way to become invisible, then terrorizes Moss's character in violent and unpredictable ways. The catch here is that for the entire film, the titular character is presumed to be Cecilia's abusive ex, who apparently committed suicide shortly after she left him. There you are. But that is proven false when, after gaining the upper hand and fatally shooting the Invisible Man, Moss's character realizes the Invisible Man was her ex's brother. <gasps> Number 19, Meeting the Parents, Spider-Man Homecoming. You must be Peter. Meeting your date's parents is awkward enough, especially when her father is the weapons mastermind that tried to kill you. Adrian Toomes, also known as Vulture, tried multiple times to disrupt the status quo and squander Spider-Man's feeble attempts at retaliation. So we guess you could say they knew each other, kinda? After Peter arrives at his homecoming date's house, he is left absolutely speechless when Vulture opens the door to welcome him. Clueless as to Spidey's real identity, Toomes tries to ease the palpable tension with cheesy dad jokes that only make things more awkward. Because you look pale. You want something to drink, like a bourbon or a scotch or something like that? I'm not old enough to drink. It's the right answer. Vulture catches on to Peter after a while, though, but when the family relation is initially revealed, it was certainly a jaw-dropping moment no one could have predicted. Does she know? Know what? So she does it. Good. Number 18. Malcolm Rivers' Multiple Personalities. Identity. Where'd you get that? Right here. The main plot of the 2003 film Identity revolves around dissociative identity disorder, previously known as multiple personality disorder, which is a condition where an individual harbors two or more different personalities that are empirically distinct from one another. Malcolm Rivers suffers from this mental illness, having created 11 separate identities within himself to cope with childhood trauma. You missed your last appointment. Where have you been? Did I black out again? Try and think back. Where have you been? However, he's unaware of the situation and unable to recognize the mugshot of convicted murderer Malcolm Rivers, the original man that contains all of his identities. So it's particularly shocking when his psychiatrist shows him a mirror and the image of himself that's reflected back is Malcolm Rivers as played by Pruitt Taylor Vince. Edward, that is your face. Why am I tied up? Come. What? Edward, please. Jesus Christ, where is my face? Subsequently, he has a bit of a freakout flashing between Malcolm Rivers and Ed Dakota, played by John Cusack, and everything is gradually explained. Malcolm is in the midst of a medical treatment, one which forces all his identities to confront one another for the first time. Number 17. Red is Adelaide is Red. Us. So you see, the shadow hated the girl so much, but so with his debut feature film, Get Out. Jordan Peele announced himself as a potentially game-changing filmmaker, one who knows how to keep audiences on their toes. His follow-up, Us, is a thrilling horror movie starring Lupita Nyong'o that pushed the boundaries within the genre to new psychological heights. The two were 
connected, tethered together. The story Red tells the Wilsons about the girl and her shadow is seriously haunting, but also the key foreshadowing for the final twist. You don't know what happened to her. Anything could have happened okay. to her. In the film's final moments, Adelaide again recalls the incident from her childhood at the Funhouse, this time revealing the full picture. Red attacked Adelaide and left her trapped in the Funhouse with the tethered, meaning that for the entire movie, Red was Adelaide, and Adelaide was Red. Number 16, People Food, Soylent Green. Soylent. Listen to me, Thorn. Thorn, listen. The best type of plot twist is one that involves cannibalism. Unfortunately, that just so happens to be the reveal in Soylent Green. In a dystopian world ravaged by overpopulation and a mass shortage of essential resources like food and water, Soylent Industries provides wafers as a food source. One in particular, the film's namesake Soylent Green, is tasty and nutritious, allegedly made from ocean plankton. A new delicious Soylent Green, the miracle food of high-energy plankton gathered from the oceans of the world. However, oceanographic reports proved the oceans had no plankton, and upon further investigation, it's revealed that Soylent Green is actually made out of human remains, meaning anyone who ate the wafer was unintentionally partaking in cannibalism. Soylent Green is made out of people. The film is set in the year 2022, so we can only hope this was not a prediction of the near future. You gotta tell him, Soylent Green is people! Number 15, Ghostface Unmasked, Scream. Why don't you wanna talk to me? Who is this? You tell me your name, I'll tell you mine. The biggest twist in this movie was that Drew Barrymore, who was marketed as the main lead in the film, was only in it for like two seconds. Just kidding, though that was quite the bait and switch. <laughs> the Scream franchise, which began in 1996 and continued for over a decade until 2011, distinguished itself by holding up a mirror to the genre, as well as calling out and toying with common horror tropes. Main character Sidney Prescott is stalked by the mask-wearing killer Ghostface, and he is seriously creepy. Well, more like they are creepy. The huge plot twist comes near the end of the movie, when it's revealed that Ghostface is actually two killers, not just one. And it made for a killer reveal. Watch a few movies, take a few notes. Number 14, the real Jigsaw Killer, Saw. Congratulations. The dead body is not dead. We repeat, the dead body is not dead. This hugely successful franchise has racked up more than its fair share of twists and turns over the course of numerous sequels. But the twist ending of the first film remains arguably the property's greatest to date. Hello, Amanda. You don't know me, but I know you. As the main characters attempt to navigate the cruel game of life and death into which they've been thrust against their will, it quickly becomes clear that death is far more likely than escape. In Saw's final scene, after all the tension and bloodshed, the dead body in the middle of the room slowly rises up. It's a very interesting person. His name is John. He has an inoperable frontal lobe tumor. The villainous jigsaw killer was hiding in plain sight the whole time. Number 13, The Bunker, Parasite. This genre-bending film is a wild ride from start to finish. Directed by Pong Joon-ho, who won four Academy Awards for the film, Parasite can be described as cerebral, funny, and thrilling. Jessica, Wedong Illinois, Chicago. The title Parasite is quite telling, as something that lives off of another is essentially the boiled down premise of this movie. The Kim family secretly infiltrates the wealthy Park family, but they aren't the only ones. The Park's former housekeeper and her husband were keeping secrets too. The hidden underground bunker definitely makes for an unexpected twist, one that added just the right amount of excitement and tension. Though, as to the question of who the real parasites are, that remains up for debate. Number 12, Sacrifice, The Prestige. When I went in, into the box, all the window came back out. We took turns. 
following the lives of two rival magicians, Angier and Borden, this psychological thriller sees each of them creating performances where they were apparently able to transport themselves to different spots on the stage. However, when Angier seemingly drowns in an act gone wrong, Borden is found at the scene and sentenced to death for the magician's murder. I saw someone making their way below stage. I followed them. It was Borden watching Mr. Angier drown. Would you but Angier didn't really die. Moments after Borden's execution, the executed man shoots Angier, revealing he was a twin. The grim final twist comes when Borden realizes just how Angier pulled off his own act. He would clone himself, while the original would fall through a trap door and drown under the stage. The bloody key! Bloody drowning! A magician never reveals their secret, but it would seem that it was actually lies and deception from the start. Pulled you out. Out of that tank. All I wanted to do was prove that I was a better magician. But you could leave me alone. Number 11. What's in the box? 7. Oh, what's in the box? What's in the box? Gwyneth Paltrow's decapitated head, of course. Uh, no, seriously. I took a souvenir. Her pretty head. This classic David Fincher crime thriller had an unforgettably chilling twist. Detectives Somerset and Mills finally apprehend a murderer they were hunting, who happens to be a serial killer whose heinous crimes were based on the seven deadly sins, gluttony, greed, sloth, lust, pride, envy, and wrath. Known only as John Doe, he gives himself up to the police, convincing the detectives to follow his terms of surrender in return for the last two victims. John Doe directs them to a remote location, and this is where he reveals he had murdered Mills' pregnant wife because of his envy of their normal life, which incites Mills to kill John Doe in a blind rage, becoming the last of the deadly sins, Wrath. Number 10. Snape's True Intentions – Harry Potter and the Deathly Hallows Part 2 Take them. Take them. The eighth and final film adaptation of J.K. Rowling's Harry Potter series was the anticipated emotional ending over a decade in the making. Those who read the books knew the twist before the film was released, but those who didn't were in for a big shock. Throughout the series, Professor Severus Snape, played by the late great Alan Rickman, was a clear antagonist, with a seething hatred for both Harry and his deceased father. However, in the battle between Voldemort and Hogwarts, Voldemort orders Snape to be killed. Before he dies, Snape is able to pass on his memories to Harry, which reveal in a poignantly heart-wrenching portrayal that he had been protecting Harry all along. It spoke of a boy born at the end of July. Yes, but he thinks it's her son. He intends to hunt them down now, to kill them. Hide her. Hide them all. I beg you. Let's just say that now we can't hear the word always without sobbing. After all this time. Always. Number 9. Who is Andrew Latus? Shutter Island. This Scorsese thriller follows Edward Teddy Daniels, a U.S. Marshal investigating a missing patient of the titular island psychiatric facility. Sorry, Doctor. You don't happen to have an aspirin, do you? Suffering migraines and hallucinations, Daniels becomes increasingly paranoid and believes something is definitely off about the whole thing. Tremors are getting pretty bad. How are the hallucinations? Get out of here, Teddy. This place is going to be the end of you. The plot comes to a head when the staff reveals that Daniels himself is the arsonist he has ultimately been chasing after. They were performing an experiment to see if he would recall the events that led him to the facility. Teddy Daniels' real name is Andrew Latus. He killed his wife after she drowned their children. They'll be our living dolls. Huh? The experiment is ultimately deemed a failure. But Leonardo DiCaprio's statement at the end of the film implies he does in fact remember. Knowing the truth, he'd simply rather be lobotomized. Which would be worse? To live as a monster? Or to die as a good man? Number 8. A Telling Handshake – Unbreakable A horrific train crash that killed 130 people in the blink of an eye leaves one man, David Dunn, as the sole survivor, and shockingly without a single scratch on him. Elijah, a comic book art dealer, tells him about his theory of real superheroes. If there is someone like me in the world, and I am at one end of the spectrum, couldn't there be someone else 
the opposite of me at the other end. Someone who doesn't get sick, who doesn't get hurt like the rest of us. David realizes he's walked away from more than a few near-death experiences and that he can see people's crimes through physical contact with them. Unfortunately, the twist comes at David's expense when a later handshake with Elijah reveals that he was the mastermind behind various accidents, including David's train crash, because he was seeking a superhero counterpart to his villain. You know what the scariest thing is? To not know your place in this world. To not know why you're here. Many years later, we get a bonus reveal in the film Split, which is a sneaky sequel that sees Dunn making an appearance at the very end. Is this like that crazy guy in the wheelchair that they put away 15 years ago? And they gave him a funny name, too. What was it? Mr. Glass. Number 7, Tyler Durden, also known as the narrator. Fight Club. Ever notice that Edward Norton's character in Fight Club doesn't have a name? Known only as the narrator, his life becomes infinitely more exciting and chaotic after meeting Tyler Durden, played by Brad Pitt. The first rule of Fight Club is, you do not talk about Fight Club. They establish a Fight Club together that soon evolves into an anti-consumerism organization that condones violence and anarchy. The massive twist comes when the narrator tracks down Durden to a different city, where he informs him that they are one and the same because we're the same person. That's right. The brilliant editing throughout the film, which included split-second spliced frames of Durden in scenes with the narrator, paired with this iconic twist, firmly established this movie as a cult classic. I am smart, capable, and most importantly, I'm free in all the ways that you are not. Oh, no. Tyler's not here. Tyler went away. Tyler's gone. What? Number six, an inappropriate relationship, Chinatown. You see, I'm Mrs. Evelyn Mulray. You know Mr. Mulray's wife? A neo-noir mystery film directed by Roman Polanski, Chinatown stars Jack Nicholson as private investigator J.J. Jake Giddes. After a series of events, he looks into the murder of a Department of Water and Power chief engineer, leading him to the man's wife, Evelyn Mulray. Some fishy business is going down, but Giddes can't figure it out. That is, until he catches Evelyn with her dead husband's mistress. Come on, Mrs. Mulray, you've got your husband's girlfriend tied up in there. <laughs> She's not tied up. You know what I mean. You're holding her against her will. I am not. After multiple attempts to deduce their relationship, the perverted truth comes out. Evelyn was raped by her father, and her sister is also her daughter. Also, it turns out that Evelyn's father had her husband murdered. An incestuous relationship definitely qualifies as a plot twist, albeit a disturbing one. Be my sister and my daughter! Number 5. Dead People, The Sixth Sense Admittedly, M. Night Shyamalan has had a bit of a bumpy career, directing more than his fair share of flops. But when The Sixth Sense hit theaters in 1999, he was being heralded as one of the most promising young storytellers working in the medium. I want to tell you my secret now. The major plot twist has inspired and appeared in many movies, including The Others, which was released just a few years after. All of the clues were spelled out plain as day. The kid literally tells us that he interacts with the dead. I see dead. Looking back, it all makes sense, but the first viewing was a huge shock to everyone who watched. Stellar performances by both Bruce Willis and Haley Joel Osment made this plot twist an absolute jaw-dropper. Who, uh, who were you talking to? Just practicing my lines. Number 4. Home Sweet Home – Planet of the Apes Imagine waking up on a strange planet almost 2,000 years after your space mission began. Well, that's exactly how Planet of the Apes begins, and it only gets wilder from there. Shortly after landing, astronauts Taylor, Dodge, and Landon are captured by primates who rule the planet. The sooner he is exterminated, the better. It's a question of simian survival. They realize humans are imprisoned and enslaved, while the apes, chimpanzees, and orangutans are the masters of society. A scary concept for sure, especially when the primates threaten to lobotomize, castrate, and kill Taylor. He escapes to a forbidden area where the plot twist and truth is finally revealed. He's been on Earth all along. My God. I'm back. I'm home. Upon seeing a half-buried and demolished Statue of Liberty, the man breaks down, cursing those responsible for humanity's fall. You blew it up! 
damn you! God damn you all to hell! Number three, the greatest trick, the usual suspects. I like cops. I would have liked to have been a fed myself, but my CP always- Verbal, you're not telling us everything. I know you know something. This classic crime film has one of the most thrilling and unpredictable twists to date. Con artist Verbal Kint, a survivor of a mass murder on a ship, is interrogated for his involvement in it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Telling Agent Kuyan about the events that led to the massacre, Verbal narrates a convoluted yet compelling story about various criminals, including Redfoot, Kobayashi, and the infamous Kaiser Soze. Eventually, Verbal confesses that one of his fellow criminals was behind it all, but he would not testify against him. That he named close to 50 people. Guess who he named in the finale? Kaiser Sose. However, this doesn't sit right with Kuyan, and a few moments after Verbal leaves, he realizes the man was bluffing, weaving together elements of information from his surroundings in the room to tell his story. Verbal then disappears without a trace before Kuyan can catch him. Some guy in California, his name is Redfoot. The gift from Mr. Soze. Talk to me, Verbal. What about Redfoot? Mr. Redfoot, you're nothing. You Number two, I am your father. Star Wars Episode V, The Empire Strikes Back. Not only is Star Wars among the most influential entertainment franchises in the world, but it also gave us one of the most quoted plot twists in cinematic history. Who are beaten. It is useless to resist. Don't let yourself be destroyed as Obi-Wan did. In The Empire Strikes Back, Vader attempts to convince Luke to join him on the dark side while engaging the young would-be Jedi in a lightsaber duel. After cutting off Luke's hand, Vader reveals a shocking secret to the seemingly defeated young hero, uttering the now iconic words, I am your father. If it weren't so devastating to Luke, it would actually be kind of heartwarming. Join me, and together we can rule the galaxy as father and son. Either way, when the movie came out in 1980, it was one huge plot twist. No! No! How many of these have you seen and been shocked by? Including the honorable mentions and number one, I have seen 16 and should have seen them all because I love twisty movies. Number one is actually so iconic and was so shocking at the time, you weren't even allowed to enter the theater after the movie began on orders from the director. So let's look through those honorable mentions and then we'll shock you one last time. That baby was Edgar. And I was the man with the knife. I killed Edgar's mother. One more thing, Sophie. Is she aware her daughter is still alive? Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Norman Bates is the Psycho Psycho. Alfred Hitchcock's legendary psychological horror film needs no introduction. Mrs. Bates. The entire ending is one big twist, arguably the greatest and most memorable in cinematic history. First reveal, Mrs. Bates has been dead for the whole movie. Second reveal, Norman is the killer. Third reveal, Norman is Mrs. Bates in his mind. Setting a precedent for plot twists and identity reveals, Psycho paved the way for hundreds of films for decades to come. They'll see, they'll see and they'll know, and they'll say, why she wouldn't even harm a fly. In the ending monologue, Norman's inner voice, or rather the voice of his mother, saying that Norman's innocence will become known because she wouldn't even harm a fly, is absolutely chilling. This video is brought to you by Fantasy Island. Own it on digital now, on Blu-ray and DVD, May 12th.